Hey guys, Chris Midwest Bass Hunter. It is the first week of fall, so bass fishing is about to get really, really good. Um, this is when you catch your PB this time of year in the fall. Fish start just putting on the feed bag, getting ready for winter. Especially up here where I'm at, where it's a little bit colder and these lakes are going to freeze over. Those fish are really going to slow down once the lake freezes over. So they're going to go ahead and just eat like crazy right now. So we're going to try and capitalize on this and uh, fish with spinnerbait today. Spinnerbait is a great lure in the fall because fish are chasing bait fish. Double willow blade spinnerbait like this is going to definitely um, attract some fish. Looks like some, you know, a school of fish swimming through the water. Um, up here where I live, we don't really have shad, uh, you know, but a lot of shad colored baits work. Um, this is kind of a shad colored bait. Otherwise a bluegill colored bait or something like that would be really good for where I'm at. But basically what we're gonna do, this lake I'm in, it's got a lot of timber lay downs in the water along the bank. The water's kind of dirty, but it's not super dirty. So you can see through the water, you know, about a foot. Uh, but we're just gonna cast along these banks and hit these laydowns and see if we can pull some fish off of here. Um, there is largemouth and smallmouth bass in this lake, so hopefully we'll get some smallies as well as some largemouth. There's a the fish. There he is. There he is. Oh, he ate it right away. He kind of paused it for a second and he chomped it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What do we got here? Is that a smallie? That is. It's a brown bass, smallmouth bass. There we go. First fish of the day, nice little chunk smallie on a War Eagle double, double wheel spinnerbait. It's a nice little smallie right there. Brown bass are so beautiful. When I'm throwing a spinnerbait, I like to use a, a little bit softer rod. Now this rod is specifically designed for, for running spinnerbaits. This is a loose speed stick TP1 Black Series. And this is six foot 10, medium heavy with a moderate fast action tip. So this rod is pretty, you know, it's pretty, pretty bendy. It's not real, it's not real firm, but it does have a good backbone. So you get a good hook set, but with a bait that you're gonna be moving, I kind of like a, a softer rod that way. Uh, it kind of helps the fish kind of catch themselves. It's less important, your hook set's less important like as if you're fishing with like a bottom bait or a frog or something like that. And just, you know, having the rod load up when the fish bites it. Then I like to use a, a little bit lower speed reel. Uh, this one isn't super low speed. It's, let's see, 6.4 to one. Something in the sixes I like for spinner baits. Uh, cause I tend to reel too fast. So I kind of like to have a slower reel. This is a loose BB one. And then I like to use fluorocarbon line. This is 14 pound fluorocarbon line. And, um, yeah, it looks pretty good in the water. That's what I like to use for spinner baits. Kind of the same setup I use for chatter baits as well. There's a fish. Okay. Ooh. I don't know if it's a large mouth or a small mouth. It feels pretty good, but that small mouth felt pretty good, but it's just because they fight so dang hard. All right, let's see what we got here. He's pulling. Oh, it's a big freaking white bass. Jeez, that's my biggest white bass I've ever caught for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I've never caught one this big. <laughs> that big's a tank. Oh, really, dude? See how bad he ruined my bait. Holy crap, that's a good fish. Dang. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a freaking tank. This thing weighs like four pounds. I don't have a scale, but 
Good gravy. I gotta measure that dude. That is by far the biggest white bass I've ever caught. I think last time I was here I caught like a 10 inch one or something. This thing is freaking huge. Well, that was a nice surprise. He fought pretty hard. Let's see how long this guy is. If he doesn't freaking flop out of the boat. Freaking lay down. He's 16 and a half inches. <laughs> a big old chunk white bass. Well, he fought like a champ. Let's let him go. A little multi-species action going on here. Come on. He doesn't want to come back to life here. <laughs> There he goes. So I switched it up. Put on a little different color here. I've caught a couple fish, but it's just been slow. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and see if that makes a difference. This one's just a little bit funkier color. Same size, pretty much. It's a different brand. The last one was a War Eagle. This is a Northland Tackle. And instead of two willows, it's got one little Colorado blade. And it's just a little different color. There's a fish. Oh, it's another white bass. <laughs> well, he launched. <laughs> he's not near as big as the other one, but he's a good one. <laughs> I guess for a white bass. I mean, I don't really fish for these things. They're fun to catch though. We'll take them. And they're definitely chomping. They're eating because that is a fat fish right there. It's fat. Well, I guess I'll make a video on how to catch white bass on a spinnerbait by accident, because I am not trying. There he goes. Those things usually school up. We'll see, maybe we can catch a couple more of them dumb things. This bait, I caught one white bass on it. No, uh, Largies or smallies, which is what I'm looking for. Not really into the white bass, although they are fun to catch. So I'm gonna make a change, one last change. It's a big change. So we're gonna go from that uh, Colorado blade bait, or I'm sorry, that willow blade bait to this Colorado. This is a great big Colorado blade. So the water is kind of dirty here, so we're gonna just switch to this darker bait. The big thumping blade and see if that by chance turns anything on. I'm not even gonna bother putting a trailer on it. I'm just gonna throw it around for a little bit and see what happens. There's a fish. Well, hopefully it's not another white bass. I think it is. <laughs> what the heck is that? It's a catfish. 
What in the world? So this has never happened to me before. I've never, ever caught a catfish while bass fishing. <laughs> that's a nice little fish. I think that's a channel cat, but I don't really know my catfish too well. If you know what kind of fish this is, let me know. He's gurgling and talking to me. What were you thinking, bro? You don't need spinner baits? Well, I've actually seen a lot of people have this happen, but I have never had it happen. You ate a freaking spinner bait. Funny. All right, dude. You did not need any reviving. Well, this is the strangest day of fishing I've had in a while. So the switch, <laughs> the switch to the different spinnerbait yielded me a catfish. That is the first catfish I've caught this year, which is just odd. I've never caught a catfish on a moving bait. I mean, it's not saying they won't eat one. I guess I did catch a bullhead on a spinnerbait one time. Just not, it just doesn't happen to me that often. Well, almost never. Well, that was not exactly what I expected today. Um, hoping to get on some largemouth bass. Didn't even catch a single one. Uh, did catch three different species of fish. That's probably, doesn't happen to me real often. I never caught a catfish while I was bass fishing. Uh, so I've seen some people, a lot of people do that, but I've never, never had that happen. That, that fish ate a spinnerbait, which just kind of odd, I think, but uh, caught a couple nice white bass. Those are both the biggest, biggest two I've ever caught. Um, and they put up a heck of a fight. If I wish, you know, when they hit, I thought, well, that's a good bass, but um, not the right kind of bass that I was looking for. So anyways, it's a blast out here today. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't catch any largemouth. I was trying to get, if I get one more, one more fish, if I could get a largemouth or a pike or something, I could have had four different species in one in one outing which yeah maybe i do that when i'm ice fishing but not when i'm bass fishing so anyways guys thanks for watching make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel hit that little bell so you don't miss anything we'll see you next time